Okay, so it's day bajillion of quarantine, but technically we're not under quarantine anymore where I am, South Carolina, but I'm still quarantining myself because I don't want to get sick. I'm gonna do my, what do you call it, everyday makeup? I don't know. I'm not a guru, I don't know how to do this, but I've got a Jeffree Star mirror, so I feel powerful, so I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna show you my normal everyday makeup that I would do if I was still going out. But since I'm not going out, I haven't been doing it. Yeah. So the first thing I wanna start with is my Too Faced primer. I just kind of squirt that onto my hand a little bit. Take this little flat foundation brush that I usually use and I just kind of put that all over my face until my entire face is covered with it. Also, I don't know why, I don't know if I'm the only one that does this, and probably not, hopefully, but I always, when I'm doing makeup, my, ma my mouth, <laughs> my myth, my mouth just kind of goes <laughs> the whole time, <laughs> and it looks really gross, but you know what? I don't care. And I'm gonna take my Too Faced uh, Peach Perfect Comfort Matte Foundation in shade Swan. Now, I don't, I don't know if I got a little bit of a tan because I put sunscreen all over my face, but I know that my shoulders got a little burnt. They're not burnt. Well, yeah, they are kind of still burnt <laughs> a little bit, but hopefully this still matches. But I don't think it'll be too far off if it doesn't. So. I'm just gonna go with it. Some on my hand like that. And kind of just dip my brush into it. Get my mirror and just pat it. And then I just start to buff it out. Also, I so I'm starting not to like the brush. So I kind of want to use a beauty blender, a sponge from now on or at least try to because I feel like the brush leaves streaks I don't know if we can tell also I think this is a little too light but that's okay <laughs> I'm about to do my nose um, about to put foundation on my nose I have a really dry t-zone and I don't know, like obviously I'm probably not the only one, but I've been trying to look up what to do for a foundation around the nose so that it doesn't like, it looks almost like flaky because when I put it on, when I put it on throughout the day, it kind of like cracks or like peels because I have such dry skin on my nose and I want to figure out how that it's not going to do that. I do like the charcoal um, nose strip peel things like once a week or at least I try to. Um, but it doesn't seem to help that much and I really want to figure it out because I want my foundation on my nose to you know actually look good. So. Oh my goodness I need a new foundation guys. If you have any recommendations, let me know. Ah, my hair! My hair got cut. Also, I don't know if you can tell, my scalp is like red right here and got like burnt from the sun because I didn't put any sunscreen on my scalp or wear a hat or anything. So, yeah. I always do that at the beginning of summer or spring or whatever it is right now. But I never learned from it apparently. So, I'm just gonna roll with it. All right, I'm gonna wipe this foundation off of my hand because I have a lot of excess. I put too much on there. There we go. Oh, I need to take out my trash. It's like overflowing. So after foundation, obviously concealer. This is probably a good concealer shade for me, but I feel like the foundation's just throwing everything off. I don't know. So the concealer I'm about to use is also Too Faced. I've only been using it recently and you only need a little bit. And I'm used to using, I think, Maybelline? I was right. 
I'm used to using Maybelline Superstay Full Coverage Under Eye Concealer right here, this little one, and I really like it, but I wanted to move up in the world um, and not use a drugstore. Not that they're not good, because I really like that one, but I wanted to try a different concealer. Just a little bit, little dots. I do it like this, just because, I don't know, it's just how I do it. <laughs> Probably not the right way, but who said I ever did anything the right way, so. Just kind of dab it in, dab it all over my eye until it's blended to perfection. I think that's good. Good enough, right? I think it looks pretty good. I always use the Flower Light Illusion Perfecting Powder. I think this is, I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure that this is Drew Barrymore's makeup line. Um, I'm probably very wrong on that. <laughs> Let me know. Oh, I forgot my brush. I love to do powder with giant face brushes because it's just so fluffy and soft. And this one is the, uh, I don't know if it's IT or IT brushes for Ulta. Um, and it says, love beauty fully. And this one is the 211 all over powder brush in case you're wondering. Tap that off, put it all over my face. I think my computer is restarting and it just blinged, bling. And next, before I do anything else, I always do my brows. I usually use the ELF uh, brow pencil. I don't ever use like the brow gels or dip it in anything. I've just always used pencil. I find that that's easier for me. Um, and right now, I just recently started using this. It's the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Wiz in chocolate. And I don't think it's dark enough because I dyed my hair. So we shall just, you know, see how it goes. <laughs> Let me use this little spoolie to Brush them out. Switch other side. Do this side first. Just kind of fill them in a little bit. I always get so close to the mirror when I do this. Sorry if I'm blocking my face, but I just can't see if I don't. I think they look pretty good. Maybe draw this one a little more. There we go. I like it. I like it a lot. All right, next I'm gonna do my bronzer, blush, and highlight. So for my bronzer and my br brush, blush, <laughs> I'm using the Cover XF, I can't talk today. <laughs> Cover FX palette. And it is in light to medium, because I am pale. And I'm gonna use this one for the contour, and it's called Silhouette. Let me get my little brush over here. Just dip it in, tap, tap, tap it off. Get my mirror. Why does that side look so much darker than the other? I always do that, I don't know why. It's always this side too. I feel like that's a little better. I'll even this, I'll even, I'll fix this. Kind of buff it out a little bit, hopefully. I don't really know if that helped, but I'm just gonna roll with it because I'm not going anywhere today. And it's fine. Here is my blush brush. There it is. I really like the Luxie brushes. This one's tapered highlighter, but I use it for blush. So for blush, I'm going to be using this one right here. And I don't really like to use a lot of blush. I just put like the tiniest bit on there. But this one is called Sublime. Just put a little bit on there. Get some for the other side. And for highlight, which is my favorite part, I'm going to be using the, I don't know if it's Purr or Pure, uh, I call it pure, even though I'm probably wrong. Bronze and Brighten little cheek palette. 
And this one is called Dreamer and it has blushing glow is the one I'm going to be using. Oh wait, I lied to you guys. It's called Afterglow, sorry, this middle one. And you can tell that I haven't even touched the other two. This one is like so deep because that's like my favorite highlighter, so. And I love using the fan brushes for highlights. I just feel like it's like wonderful how it like goes on exactly where I need it to. It's so pretty. I'm like a disco ball. So after all that's done, I like to do just a little bit of a mist to set everything before I finish. And I use the Morphe setting spray, just the normal one, not the matte. Dry it. Please don't. Oh, I just hit myself. Next is the eyes. So for my eyes, I like to use the Morphe Eyelid Primer. It comes in this little tube. And I just put a tiny bit on my finger. Just the smallest little amount, because that's really all you need. And just rub it all around your eyelid. Nope, a little too much, but that's okay. I'll spread it out with my other finger. cap back on so it doesn't dry out that would be terrible because right now I am broke and I don't want to have to buy another one because it's dried out all right so after that's done I always <laughs> I use a lot of Too Faced products um, I love this palette this is my go-to palette I always use it it's a Too Faced sweet peach palette it smells amazing and clearly you can tell I use a lot especially this one up here called Luscious because it's so pretty on the lid and it's like natural and it's just my go-to. So so we're going to take our little double-ended Urban Decay brush, dip it into the puree, tap it off as always, and just put that into the outer corner. There we go. So that's one side done, do the other side. Outer corner, I do the outer corner crease into the middle. I know you're supposed to usually use like three, but I started out with just this and the other one and it looks good, so I'm gonna keep doing it. <laughs> I always um, start out with a little bit of eyeshadow instead of putting a lot on my brush because you can always add more but it's a lot harder to take away. So I wanna make sure that it's, well, you know, not too heavy, but if it's too light, I can always add more if I need to. For me, when I do, um, when I have fallout from the eyeshadow, I always like to get a little fan brush that I only use for fallout so it doesn't like spread, there's a fuzz on that. <laughs> so it doesn't spread any other product to my, on my face. So I always just go like that very gently so I don't rub the eyeshadow in. So I'm just kind of like flicking it off very, very lightly. Also getting my flipping flyaways on the brush, but that's okay. And I'm gonna dip into that shade I showed you earlier, Luscious, and put that right, oops, sorry, you can't see, oops right up here on the inner lid there we go more light i usually have more fallout from the shimmery shade um than the darker shade so that's why i always like to use that little fan brush to me oh my gosh some i don't know if it was the air conditioning unit or what just made it very frightening noise outside my window. Now this is one of my favorite beauty products by Thrive Cosmetics, Brilliant Eye Brightener in shade Stella. You can see that, really pretty. And I always like to put that right in the corner of my eye because it makes you look less tired and a lot more awake. And I always put it right here, Cupid's bow. 
I think that's what that's called, right? Get a little shimmer. Curl my eyelashes. Little eyelash curler. I don't know what brand this is, but typical eyelash curler. The mascara I like to use, I always like to use waterproof, especially during the summer because if you're sweating and stuff, uh, is the Voluminous Butterfly Waterproof Mascara by, is it brand not on here? L'Oreal, my bad. It looks like that. It's my favorite color, blue, which I love. The packaging, not the mascara. go put a little bit on the bottom lashes but not much I got a text let that dry a little bit should be quick drying and what's left lips lips is what's left now I use this all the time it is the fresh Sugar Advanced Therapy Lip Balm. I always put this on morning and night after I brush my teeth and right before I do any lip product, just a little bit, just to make sure that it won't dry my lips out. And I either use the Urban Decay uh, Metallic Lipstick in, I can't remember the shade, it's in the other room. Uh, which is not matte, but it's also not glossy. It's kind of, well, metallic. But this one is the ColourPop Ultra Glossy Lip in shade Champagne Mummy. And this, I love for a good gloss. So pretty. Put my lips together. And then just go a little up. Simple, neutral, everyday makeup look that I love. And there you go. I'm not going to take my hair down because it's probably a little bit of a mess. So I'm just going to keep it like that. Alright, that is my everyday makeup tutorial that I haven't been doing every day because of quarantine. Hope you enjoyed. <laughs>